Greetings, royal family, and welcome to another message by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe Beit Noon Sophie. Yudhe Wavhe. Now, royal family, this message was taught many years ago by the Honorable Yudhe Wavhe and is being presented to you today by Yahweh's royal priesthood. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at Yahweh's royal priesthood. www.yahweh144 zero 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 dot com and also royal family join us at the university of yahweh where classes are designed for the godhead visit us at www.universityofyahweh.org also, Royal Family, listen to our weekly podcasts by the University of Yahweh, found on most podcast platforms. We look forward to you being there as well. Enjoy, Royal Family. Ethical conduct. Ethics is goodness, rightness, righteousness, right conduct, holiness, sanctification. Ethics is honesty in principle and action, uprightness, being rectitudinal in your mind, striving and working and then practicing being honorable, chaste and virtuous. And these are words that we should not only be able to call, but these are words that we must master in order to be able to apply them in our lives. I'm having a good time talking about this because I practice ethics, yes, sir. and I'm rewarded for being ethical. Yes, sir. For example, when I pulled up on Yahweh Resort property, the police officers were going by, and so in passing they waved, of course, I and my honorage waved back, so they backed up and came onto the property. That was this evening. And I don't know how they knew it, but at any rate, one of the officers said, first, we want to welcome you back. <laughs> I almost had a cardiac arrest because I didn't tell anybody else. <laughs> I thought I'd done a pretty good job slipping away. And after welcoming me back, I do have some witnesses. They heard distinctly, welcome back. I didn't want to believe that's what they said. I want to try to make that be something else. And they said, we want to thank you for buying up property in Liberty City and cleaning it up from drugs and crime. We want to thank you for buying this property, the Saxon, and cleaning it up from drugs and, and crime. We want you to buy more property. In fact, would you like to have a list from us? Um, 
These are Miami City police officers. And they went on to say that wherever you go, our jobs are easier. And there's no more death. So we want you to get more. And I said, well, as soon as we get a little more money, we will. <laughs> and they wanted us to know that they are really appreciated. And I said, well, wonderful. And I will be supporting you. We will support you. And of course they know I am a moral man and I support moral behavior regardless of who you are. So here is a situation where my works are concrete. In the results I achieve because I'm practicing the Old Testament. Now those who practice the New Testament are unable to do the same kind of work. Those who practice the New Testament have buildings on every corner, several in a block. They even march and demonstrate and yet are unable to eradicate problem in the community. And my practicing ethics, ethical conduct, and teaching you, my disciples, to practice ethical conduct gains respect even from the criminal. And proves that we have power with God and with man when you practice ethical conduct. Now in Deuteronomy chapter 6, 10 through 25, it is a section dealing with warnings against disobedience. What does that mean? What does that title mean? It means warning against disobeying the laws of Yahweh because that is unethical. In short, warnings from God in being unethical or practicing unethical conduct. Warning. If you obey Yahweh, you will inherit land that you don't have to fight for. You will inherit cities that you don't have to fight for. And I'm demonstrating it here in Miami and across the country. And any forward-thinking person with any vision can see that I'm bringing this about. With perfect peace, because I'm the Prince of Peace. Now, I don't know what verse we stopped on. Was it around verse 16? Is that what you said? What verse did I stop on in, in this chapter? Verse 10? So I'm saying 10. 10. My goodness. You mean I started with 10 and stopped with 10? I taught weeks. <laughs> we read through it, but we didn't, I didn't teach in it. I taught 10. In verse 10, I taught that for several weeks. Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure I did. Because we certainly did go through Joshua 24, 13, did we not? 
Well, let's read verse 10 again so that you who are visiting and who are new at least will know what we're reading or thought of, thought of, maybe, what the rest of us know. Read verse 10. And it shall be when the Lord thy God, Yahweh, shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto thy father, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not. And read verse 11. And houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not, and well digged, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. What great blessing. Without the subject of ethics, we would have little occasion to look at these verses in any detail or for any reason. But just think, we have a God, Yahweh. We have Yahweh, our God. She said, thy God. Now, if he's not your God, then he won't be doing this to you. <laughs> but for all of those whose God he is, he will be doing this for them. <laughs> well, that's like being the president's man. All who are not the president's men don't get what the president's men get. If you're a teacher's flunky, uh, as they say in the public schools, well, if you're an apple polisher, you get certain little privileges. You don't polish apples, you don't get what the apple polisher gets. Sometimes they get to leave the classroom and walk the hall, get a little paddle and run messages back and forth. And see, you didn't polish apple, so you don't get to run up and down the hall. Have a special pass. <laughs> you know? If you're not the pet. Anybody ever saw that happen in your life? 